Feels off almost. You're loaded. You gotta spin them tires, brother. Oh, now we're rocking again. <laughs> we're just zigzagging. Luckily, there's a rut in the road on both sides that we're kind of zigzagging back and forth between. Just in the old side walls. I don't know if you can hear it, but you know, that's just rocks and mud hitting my paint. Black paint at that. That's good for it. But this morning kind of sucked. Shot, I don't even want to say this on camera, we shot two widgeon, only hunted for about two hours in the rain, pretty much sucked all of it, too educated. Um, this is our first crappy day, cloudy overcast as you just saw, we got some rain this morning like I said. Hopefully we're going to go scout and find a big feed worth hunting because this slew stuff is getting pretty old. you know sometimes you got to be faster than the ducks and sometimes the ducks fly faster than the speed limit <laughs> so here we are and she's coming put the <laughs> thing down put it down there. <laughs> there's something back for you i was trying not to laugh when she said ten dollars I was trying so hard not to laugh. It's a ten dollar ticket. Like here's a twenty. Leave the fuck alone for the rest of the day. <laughs> so we don't care if you speed like a ten dollar ticket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're finally on what well, I believe to be a good goose feed. Uh, we had four guys scouting yesterday. Yeah, an actual feed, not uh, not the piddly crap we've been dealing with lately, but uh, we got Tyler out here. Starting to set the spread. Got Mike and Joe over here grassing their blinds in. Which, anybody that's done it knows, that sucks. The absolute worst part, and here I am recording them. Yeah, way to go, Ross. <laughs> but, um, plan today, uh, we set up right, right where we, we watched them. We put them to bed last night. Uh, we're setting up. They're gonna, we're gonna side shoot them so they're not staring at us in this empty field. Hopefully that and some good grassing technique will, uh, get us a limit of birds today or at least shoot towards in the general direction of birds and maybe hopefully some of them will die quickly <laughs> yeah close enough for a heart attack Mikey says what do you think bud I think if it works it'll be perfect but if it doesn't work even the slightest, it's going to be bad. But we're going to try. If it doesn't work, we're driving 20 hours home. We're just packing up and leaving. Leaving early. That we should have done right <laughs> I do believe I was, eh? We should have done that about a week ago. <laughs> should have packed her up and drove 20 hours home. Why? This weather sucks. Geese suck. Ducks suck. Weather sucks. I mean, we need some Jesus. What? <laughs> 
What happened? What happened yesterday, though? What did we get last night? Oh, we got a hell of a cold front. A lot of greenheads showed up. It seemed like birds actually started moving around. There's ducks everywhere in the air last night, which is something we haven't seen all week. So, should be a good day. It's foggy, so hopefully they come. The roost is about a mile. Oh, how far away would you say that is? A good mile anywhere? Yeah, yeah. A mile straight that way towards that chair flame. Um, so hopefully they get up, come and sit right in here with this wind and the fog. They should be flying low. Should be a good hunt. Probably 3,000 of them moved in just to the south, north, north of us. Yeah. Uh, nice, nice execution there, bud. Shut You're up. Doing great. 3,000 3, geese moved into the north of us here, all white geese, so they're pulling everything that we had planned over there to shoot. of them coming to us. No turn probably, but... Nope. These are coming. Where? In front of you? No, the ones you're talking about. Oh, yeah, probably not. I'm betting on it. It's going to be positive. It's be positive growth from now on. I'm pretty positive I'm getting hot in my... with this heater going. We're going to shoot these on the back side. Uh, yeah, they're coming over top of us here. There's a trailing group that's real low. They got the bars. We're gonna get a pop of these right behind us. Yep. No, you know. They're gonna come in. No, 
on, they're coming right back. <laughs> We had, man, we had a group that was eight or ten. It was just perfect. They were every bit of forty. Not these. There was a there was a group of ten that were close. You should have called it. Well, I was waiting for you. You want me I to didn't call? see him. Okay. You want me to call if him? What's going? It doesn't matter at this point. Three here, four, they're turning in, they're coming in. Yeah, we had some coming too. Atta girl, here, here. <laughs> Tyler. You got it. Close up, close up. Coop, come on, let's go. No, fetch it up. Back. Fetch it up, let's go. On the back side. Let's go. so heavy set we would be doing well we just don't like this low set
No, don't, don't, don't. Don't shoot him? Don't call. <laughs> I'm not calling that bad. Here they come. No, they were just committed. <laughs> Please! <laughs> Don't kill him. That's how it's going today, folks. Got a couple juvie specs, a couple lessers, two pintails, and this specimen. Just an absolute quad crow specimen. mallard. Pretty solid. Other than that, Ross will pan over there when I'm done here in a second and show you why that's all we have. When we should have a four. Mikey's moved in last night at some point. Decided to use this as their feed. Pulled all the dart geese, all the ducks over there with them. You know, I'm just covering up a typical goose hunter excuse to me, but sounds good to me anyway. So, we straight up nerded out today, and uh, we had forced air heat <laughs> in the uh, in the blinds and it's um i don't know this diesel eater everybody uses diesel eaters these days i guess so i bought one for camping and decided it'd be a good idea to use it for hunting <laughs> and it, it worked like amazing like perfect couldn't have worked any better so you got this big rig and then uh big 12 volt battery and then duct work into each blind and yeah it was this morning it was like 34 degrees I think and we were like toasty warm snuggled up it was pretty legit this is the uh this is a battery I use to power the whole thing but yeah it's kind of a it's new wave hunting just got my little housewife in there Cleaning the trailer out. He ain't having it. Old Joe just uh, whipped up some hot chili in the field. Some Dutch oven loving. Well, Dutch oven loving. <laughs> just, uh, just cleaned up the spread. Got all packed up. Time for lunch and scouting. <laughs> 